Lessons learnt. Wet damage to cargo of maize. Vessel type, dry cargo vessel. The Subject 5 hold vessel was fixed to load a full cargo of yellow maize in bulk. The previous cargo was bulk fertilizer. On completion of loading, all holds were fumigated and the holds were then closed, secured and sealed. During the initial stages of the voyage, the vessel encountered heavy weather, with spray and seas shipped on deck and all hatch covers over a period of eight days. Upon arrival at the discharge port, the hold and manhole seals were inspected and found to be intact. Hold numbers 2, 3 and 5 were approved for discharge. However, hold numbers 1 and 4 were rejected. A bad odour was reported at the forward end and both hatchways. The surface of the cargo stow in both of the rejected cargo holds was found to be locally mouldy, discoloured and caked, with temperatures in the affected areas measured up to 63 degrees C. The quantity of damaged cargo was estimated to be about 10 to 12 metric tonnes in each hold. During the pre-discharge inspection of the cargo, examination of the hatch cover panel cross joints of hold numbers 2 and 3 revealed that a substantial amount of wetted maize kernels and associated residue were present in the drain channels above and between the cross joint ceiling. It was apparent that the panel cross joints had not been cleaned in preparation of the hatch covers being closed at the load port. The hatch combing drain channels were also found to contain cargo residue, which had either not been removed after loading or had collected in the channels through water drainage from the cross joints. The following practices could have prevented this accident. The thorough removal of cargo residues from cross joints, combings, seals, drainage channels and drains upon completion of loading is of paramount importance to maintain the weathertight integrity of the cargo hold hatch covers. A responsible crew member should be assigned to check that cleaning of the joints, seals and channels is done properly before the hatch covers are closed and secured. These checks should be incorporated into the vessel SMS pre-departure cargo worthiness checklists. Now that you have seen this video, ask yourself these questions. What personal action can you commit to to avoid an incident like this on your ship? Pause the video to answer your question. What are the procedures and controls on your ship that would prevent this from happening? Pause the video to answer the question. What could cause those procedures and controls to fail? Pause the video to answer the question. What can be done to make the procedures and controls more effective? Pause the video to answer the question. Thank you for watching this learning video. Please note that the UK P&I Club website has a wealth of further training and advisory material.